Barbell Medicine nearly knocked this one out of the park. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Joe. Hope your workouts are going great. And this coming up week I know is Thanksgiving for some of you, those who are based in the US like I am. And so I just want ahead of time, wanna wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And also mention that because of the holiday, my next video after this one might get delayed a little bit just because of being with family and stuff like that. So just wanna give you a little heads up there. But we are going into a review for Barbell Medicine beginner template today and overall guys I thought it was fantastic they did a really great job with this one now I've done a review in the past on one of their other templates and if you haven't seen it yet you can right here and I do recommend seeing that one first because there's some things I talk about specifically for the program that are around the same for this one specifically in the spreadsheet itself so they have an analysis tab and a calculations tab to help you determine what weight to use or calculating your 1rm or estimate of your 1rm and keeping track of your progress i talk about all of that in my previous review so again go check that out first if you want to i'm not going to go into much detail about that now since i already did but for this particular program again it's a beginner template so it's not a specific program like a specific hypertrophy or powerlifting program it's one tailored specifically for those who've never actually resistance trained or done very little resistance training before. It's all about building a base for you, getting you into resistance training and covering the basics for it. Now the program itself is three phases long. Okay, now the length of each phase can vary. At minimum, they are each four weeks, but you're given an option of repeating the fourth week in each phase. In fact, they recommend you repeat it, and I would recommend that as well to allow for proper progression. So the program itself can actually last quite a while, more than three months, maybe even up to six months, depending on how many times you repeat that last week. And the way that it works is that when you start a new phase, such as phase two or phase three, the first week of those phases are a deload week. So this gives you the ability for proper recovery and acclimation as you're going along. And it starts with phase one being the lowest intensity, along with the lowest overall amount of volume that you're gonna follow. And then it slowly progresses in each phase. So the overall intensity and volume increases for each one. And each week concentrates over total body workouts, which are centered around the three main lifts, the bench, the squat, and the deadlift. Now they also give you an option to do some exercise substitutions for some of those. So instead of a bench press, if you want to do a dumbbell press instead, you're given that option. Or instead of a squat, you can do a box squat. Instead of a deadlift, a conventional deadlift, you can do like a trap bar deadlift, like I would. Guys, you know, watching this channel that that's what I personally would do, you know the reasons why but you're given that option if you wanted to. Now, before you even get to the program itself, they have this 65 page guide that covers pretty much everything you would need to know, not about just the program itself, but resistance training as well. It includes very detailed sections such as exercise principles, including progressive overload or what RPE is, pretty much everything you would need to know there, along with the benefits of exercise, why it's good for your health, why you should be doing it, not just resistance training, but also cardiovascular training, and just a ton of other sections there covering everything from how to pick the right weight you're gonna use to following adherence to a section fully explaining what general physical preparedness is, GPP, which is basically a conditioning day which is built into the program. So they go over everything, guys, that you really would need to know to get you started, not just for the program itself, but also in overall resistance training so that when you finish this, you can move on to something more specific and you have a much better understanding. And they did a really great job in the explanations for all this. Now, like I mentioned for the program itself, it's centered around those three main lifts and the way they program it makes full sense. It doesn't jump all over the place. It doesn't vary a huge amount. The exercises you do from phase to phase, so from phase one to phase two, phase three, do change a little bit, but the variation isn't frequent. Like I said, you can repeat the last week of each phase 
quite a bit. So you're not gonna be changing your exercises all the time for this. So you're still following the principles of progressive overload, just fine. And the way that they progress in load and intensity makes complete sense. These guys, they know how to do this properly. And like I mentioned in the spreadsheet itself, they give you a tab on determining exactly what weight you should be using a full calculator basically to determine that and an analysis tab again to keep track of your progress and make sure you're on the right path. So overall guys, I think they did a really great job with this. Now, having said that, do I have a little bit of feedback? Yes, two main things. First thing is in the warm up section, they talk about both a general warm up and a specific warm up. So, the specific warm up being for a specific exercise you're about to do, such as the bench press. The specific part of the warm up, I agree with what they're talking about and how to do it, is the general warm up part that I have a slight disagreement with. Now, they talk about how it's for most people, if you're completely healthy, a general warm up, such as going onto a treadmill, doing some dynamic stretching, stuff like that, isn't really all that necessary. You can just start with the specific warm up. I do disagree with that a little bit, just because while it is true how they state that research shows there isn't a huge amount of benefit in terms of overall performance or reducing a risk of injury for those who are healthy by doing a general warm up, I would still recommend you guys doing it. You can never really do too much of a warm up. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that you can, but it won't hurt you to do five to 10 minutes starting some type of cardio, like riding on a bike or going on a treadmill and then doing some dynamic stretches like face pulls or uh, band pull apart, stuff like that, just to get your muscles prepared for it. It won't hurt you and it can only benefit you guys in the long run. And there's some people who have to do that type of warm up, like I do. I have to warm it up, especially for my shoulders because I have some impingement going on, in particular this shoulder right here. So I have to do some general warm up with it, some dynamic stretching with it. Otherwise my shoulder can bother me during my workout. So it's gonna vary from person to person. If you're healthy, yeah, you can get away without having to do it, but I would still recommend doing it. Then that second feedback I have is that with all their explanations, while it's all great and they cover everything you pretty much need to know, it can get kind of technical, actually get pretty technical. So if you're an absolute beginner who's never read about this stuff before, who's never done this stuff before, you might feel a little bit intimidated or have a little hard time reading through it just because of how technical in some sections it can get, honestly. Just make sure that you read it carefully. If you have to reach out to them to ask any questions, do so. Or you guys can reach out to me if you want and answer any questions you want about it as well. And a lot of stuff they explain, the terms and everything, I think is very important for you to know. So I'm glad they included it. Just understand that some of you might have a little bit of a problem while reading it. Just take it slow and reach out if you need to for some help. But other than that, guys, that's mainly what my review is gonna be for this. I thought it was great. I'm gonna be giving it a score of nine out of 10. They did a fantastic job on the programming and covering every basic about resistance training that you would possibly need to know. The only again drawbacks was that part about the general warm up and the fact that it's maybe a little bit intimidating for some beginners just how technical some of their descriptions can get. So I hope you enjoyed that review today, guys. And like I mentioned, I might be delayed in the next review, but I will have it up as soon as I possibly can. And I'll see you guys next week.